Pot. Okay. <laughs> well, Ryan, look at you as a uh, Oregon Duck representing. Not too many of you in the major leagues. Just you and what, Tyler Anderson, is that right? But uh, hey, years from now, when the look back at the great history of Ducks baseball, how about the distinction of you being one of the first, huh? You know, it's such an honor, and that's kind of part of the reason why Oregon was such a great choice for, I know, Tyler Anderson and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, just really want to put our footprint in a great university already and then really help put a new sport back on the map that once was so great. So glad we could be a part of that. How about your entrance to the major leagues I mean, last year? I mean, you just, you just kind of hit it, you know, with, with, with a splash. So, so how do you look back on that success and maintain it into this year? You know, I try not to look back too much just because mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay positive and stay forward. Uh, so I think that's most of my focus, just preparing every single day and showing up to the yard and getting my body and my mind ready to play another Major League Baseball game. Mm -hmm. Couldn't help but notice the number 25, uh, uh, famously worn by Mark McGuire. You ever, anybody ever bring that up? You ever, ever think about that? that? Yeah, people like to bring it up in the clubhouse or <laughs> yeah. social media, whatever it may be. But, you know, that's not something that I'm trying to, you know, fill his shoes just mm -hmm. because of how spectacular he was as a player. But... It's a number that's near and dear to my heart than it has been for a lot of years. So it was an honor to be able to represent and then even represent, you know, former greats like Mark McGuire. He hit a lot of bombs while he was wearing the uh, the green and gold. Uh, as, as for you and your power, I mean, you you already you're, you already got one in the books through 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 a couple of games and uh, uh, playing the hot corner and, and and being a power hitter. How do you how does that hit you? How do you what's the perspective on that? You know, I just you're just trying to contribute to the ball club both any way you can, you know, positively, whether it's driving in runs or scoring runs, um, just whatever you can do to help the ball club win ball games. When you hit one, do you do you just real right away? You really, yeah, you know, I got that one. It really depends. You know, yeah. once in a while you do, you hit it, and you know. Uh, for me, I try not to know too mm -hmm. quickly. I try to run out of the box as quick as I can. But there's once in a while when you get it pretty good, and you know. As a fan. Fans like to look at lineups and they like to look at matchups and they go, hey, we got this one, we got this one, we got this one. But, but as a player, on the end, take us inside as to how, how you look at the, I guess, the, the, the prowess of this ball club. You know, I think top to bottom, there's a lot of tough outs. And I think even our hitting coach has said to us that the quality of our at bats have been so, so high the last two days, and we're only two days into the season. I think there's a lot of professional hitters and a lot of professional people in that clubhouse, and it's carrying over into our on field performance. Last one for me, I, I wanted to get you to comment on your your work ethic i saw you out there i mean you you, you were feeling grounders on the side you're feeling great you're 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 out here and it's hours before the game even begins you know that's something i take a lot of pride in just kind of putting my work in just something that gets me physically and mentally prepared for the game and so i can be able to compete at the highest possible level in major league baseball and it shows thank you very much <laughs> thanks man appreciate it all right